Hello everyone, this is Yusuf from Crafting Cloud CRM Solutions, and in today's episode, we're going to be comparing two out-of-the-box apps, the Sales app and the Sales Console app, and understand what the differences are. Let's go. So I'm logged into my Trailhead org. As you can see, I'm on the standard sales out of the box app in my Trailhead org. If I click this app launcher icon, you'll see it's this option right here. So for this app, I want to basically show you uh, and compare between this app and another app called the sales console app. So for this app, you'll notice that you have tabs going across the top of your sales app. Now these tabs allow you to access different records contained in the sales app. Uh, so you'll see if I click the opportunities tab, you'll see a list view where I can go ahead and toggle between list views here. Uh, you'll see all the shared list views are right here, but beneath at the, the bottom here. Now, if I go ahead and I just choose all opportunities um, and I open up an opportunity, it allows you to see that opportunity record detail in this full screen right here. Now, this is nice and this is very straightforward. And this is really meant for uh, slower paced sales teams uh, that don't need access to see multiple uh, areas in the sales app at once. They just need to go in and look at a sales record one at a time um, to be able to do their day to day. Um, and basically this is really a good entry level UI experience or user experience for someone who just started using Salesforce, just to kind of get you more familiar with how things are set up in Salesforce, how you navigate to different things, what you can do, you know, creating a new record from here and having it open up here for you to fill out that information for that new record and just getting really used to just navigating and, and using the app. Now, once you become a more experienced user, or maybe, you know, you work for a company where it's a very fast paced sales environment, where you need to be able to look at multiple sales records at the same time, or navigate across multiple records very easily. So the biggest difference is if I open up the, uh, the app launcher, and I show you, and I go to the sales console app, you're going to notice that at it right away, a big change. So you have this split view and this is very nice because you're then able to look at a particular record within a list view on one side, on the left side of the screen, while looking at that record that you've selected from the list view on the right side. So you'll notice when I open up Acme Corporation, you'll see that I'm still on this list view on the left, but I have Acme in, in a Corporation's record information on the right. Now you'll also notice that two tabs opened up. So that was because I did click a different account before I clicked Acme Corporation and it opened up as a tab. Now, when I went into the Acme Corporation, it also opened up as its own separate tab. And to display this again, I'm gonna choose American Firefighters for Historic Book Preservation as my account. And you'll notice now a third tab opened up and I can easily and quickly just toggle between all the different accounts within the sales console versus in the sales console, which I'm actually just going to duplicate. Okay. Just to kind of show you a, a side by side comparison. Okay. Let me actually just minimize this and let me open up this in another screen. So you'll see if I go into my sales app and I open up the accounts, and now I have those three accounts here. Notice how it take that list view takes up the whole screen versus the list view in the sales console only takes the left side of the screen. And let me choose all accounts here just to be really similar. Okay. Now, if I want to go and open up Acme Corporation, it takes up the whole screen, right? That list view is now gone. If I want to go now and check out American firefighters for historic book preservation account, I have to go back into my accounts list view and open up that American Firefighters. And I have no traceability into what account I previously visited. So that is the biggest difference um, I find between the sales console 
and the sales app is that traceability. It allows you to really get, uh, understand, you know, where your thought process was going with picking, looking at different accounts and kind of keeping everything in context. So going back into the sales console, let's say I'm under my Acme corporation and I want to look at one of its affiliated contacts. So I'm going to go and click Danny Claire right there. You'll notice it's contact information shows up, um, underneath Danny's contact information, but notice how it became a sub tab under the Acme corporation. Okay. If I navigate now to American firefighters for historic preservation, that sub tab area is now gone. That's because I, that contact was related to the Acme corporation and we want to keep that history there. So if I go now and I choose an opportunity related to this American firefighter, um, account that opportunity opens up but it also remains as a sub tab under the main tab for that account if i go back to my acme corporation notice how those sub tabs for the american fighter fighter disappear and it goes back to the contact record that i opened up that i that i opened up recently uh regarding that acme corporation account so everything is kind of in context and i'm able to go back and see what tabs I opened up and easily navigate across all the different accounts and their related record information. Okay. Now I can go ahead here and I can actually go and go directly into my campaigns app and you'll notice my campaigns list view opens up while I'm still looking at an, a, a contact for my account. Okay. So you'll see that this contact, is here and I want to go, oh no, actually I'm in the opportunity, sorry, in the opportunity for the American firefighter account, but I have my campaigns list view in the left hand side. So I can go now go ahead and open up a campaign and you'll see it opens up as a separate tab and I can go ahead and I can look at related records at, in this campaign. So if I want to look at this campaign hierarchy a little bit more, You'll notice that that information shows up as a sub tab now for that particular campaign and this campaign information. But this is really the power of the sales console, right? It's just that multi tab navigation and being able to, to go across many tabs and have all those sub tabs related to that primary record uh, opened up underneath to keep everything in context. And that's pretty much the gist, a side-by-side -side comparison of the sales console and the sales app, as you can see here.